Hey folks, it's Mish here. Welcome to another metal detecting adventure. We are out on the land today. You can see I've got a nice big open space behind me. You might be able to see a little bit of a path off to the side. Now that path, once upon a time, used to be a railway track. Now I actually remember trains running on that line when I was really, really young. I'm hoping to find something sentimental today that I can take home just to remind me of those times gone by. Hopefully you might find an old coin or two, maybe a couple of rail spikes, that'd be really cool. But without any further ado, let's go grab the metal detector and let's go hunting. I do apologise in advance for any wind. It is quite a breezy day, but I've got the good microphone with me, so fingers crossed this is nice and clear for you. There are a couple of spots I'm going to check today. So the path you can see right here was the railway, once upon a time. It goes up and down, I won't show you too much. <laughs> Again, sentimental area. <laughs> there is the area that was the old train station platform. Definitely want to check that out. Now between these poles actually used to be a playground. It wasn't there for a super long time, but there's a chance of a couple of little spendables here and there among the rubble. I'd definitely be trying around these picnic tables too, though I might find a little bit of rubbish around those. Now over the back, there used to be buildings right down that far end as well. So that's also gonna be worth a look. And then, yeah, I'll just do a general sweep over here and we'll see what we can find. Well, folks, I've started up on the rail platform area and it's becoming very quickly apparent that there's been a lot of soil added to this spot over time so I have dug a couple of trash targets haven't shown you on camera but they've all been sort of eight to ten inch down before a different type of soil has appeared so a much rougher coarser soil so this is clearly topsoil that's okay there's a big old bull ant there can you see him right next to my coil Anyway, he's about to get swept away. Oh no, he's on my coil. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, Balance going for a ride. We've got a 21-22 here. Um, I would dig it, but there's a very angry Balance in the spot. So give me a moment and I'll get back to you with what that target is. It's yet another Balance here. That's not the one that was threatening me before. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm gonna have to watch where I step. So it was just a bottle cap. However, that said, I was just talking about the topsoil here. That cap's been there for quite a time, so maybe it's not as piled up as high as I thought. Anyway, we'll see. Hopefully I can find something, like a coin, or just something historic would be really nice. Nice little old relic would be great. All right, let's move on. Alright folks, we're going bush a bit because I just happened to notice off to the side of where I was working some of the original foundations down here. So this area is a lot lower than what I was working. I did mention that I thought there was a significant layer of topsoil and I think I may be correct because this looks like the original base. And there's obviously been water flowing through here at some point. I'm at the base of an older tree. How pretty is that covered in ivy? <laughs> Anyhow, I have a bit of a poke around here. Let's see if we find anything. You guys, I think I found my first rail spike. So this came in at about a minus six. It was a lovely solid signal. I can see the head and possibly the start of the spike. Don't know if I'll be able to do this one handed, but <gasps> there it is. That's what I was looking for, guys. I know that might not seem like much to you guys, but being part of a rail that I used to remember running, that is really near and dear to my heart. So the plan would be to try and find a couple of these. And then what I can do is I can get them cleaned up with electrolysis or similar, and um, maybe make something like a coat rack. A couple of those, be pretty nifty, don't you think? Oh man, well now I know what I'm looking for signal wise, so I'll make sure I've got all metal on. And I'm actually just off the side of the track. 
So I'll keep searching these gutter areas, see if I can find any more that have been thrown to the side. Fantastic! Guys, I think I might be onto my second rail spike. First one came out just over there. And now it is a bit jumpy, but there's my minus five, minus six. It's a lovely strong signal. Let's dig it. -hoo -hoo. Definitely looks like number two. Got an edge here. I was a little bit off with my dig. That's okay. I'm gonna try and loosen up the ground around it. Because it's rather hard in places. Oh, oh yes. Here we go. Spike number two. That one's a bit heavier if I'm honest. Actually it looks like a different type. Interesting. Alright, I'll pop it in the bag. And uh, let's see how long it takes to find number three. Right signal, wrong item. Can anyone tell me what I've found here? So, obviously going to be part of the railway. I'm actually not sure as to the purpose of a piece in this kind of shape. So if you could let me know, that'd be ace. Unfortunately, I probably won't be able to take it with me. I'm very limited for room and this stuff weighs an absolute ton. So I'll just pop it discreetly off to the side here again. But what a cool little piece. So guys, my mystery piece is over there. I dug it from about there. Not far away at all. Can you see what's at the tip of my digger? Well, that looks a bit familiar. Let's see if we can get it out. Oh, yes. Oh, that one's in beautiful condition too. Awesome. So I've now got two that are identical in design. I'm hoping for three and in a perfect world, I'd be hoping for six because my stepfather has expressed an interest in making a coat rack of his own. He's basically said if I find a set for him and a set for me, he'll do the cleaning up. But I've got to find him some first. Woohoo! All right. Check this out, folks. This wasn't the signal I was originally digging, I don't think, because the thing I was digging sounded large. And this is not large. But I've just pulled this out. Now, I can't quite tell what's going on here. We've got a, a gem. Looks fake to me. And some wire. And possibly like nylon netting or something. Almost looks like a stocking. Um, I don't know if this has been jewellery. Or what the story is here. Maybe I was getting a signal off the backing. Who knows? <laughs> Can you tell me what I've found? Hmm. All right. Well, we'll pop that in the pouch. <laughs> I guess that's something a little bit different to the, the iron relics at least. And I'll see if I can keep finding something in this spot. It pays to hunt with your eyes just as much as with your detector. Because if I swing this here, you'll notice really strong minus five minus six and then if you have a better look can you see it all right that is a sun baking spike so as a result of being exposed to air the whole time she's a lot more worn away than the other ones but that's still a fine piece well, I've got at least three of the same style, although this one's a touch beaten up. <laughs> we'll call it rustic. Nice. Well guys, I'm a sad panda. You wanna know why? I heard a sound I've never heard before come out of that thing. Do you wanna know what sound it was? It was the flat battery sound. I have never heard it before because I've always been really good with charging my detector before hunts. And yeah, for some reason the battery just died really fast today. 
So I guess that's kind of it for detecting unfortunately. I don't have Al's detector in the car. Um, I don't have a charge cable with me so I can't charge it off my car. I really don't know what to do guys. I travelled a long way for this. So what I might do is I'll pop the gear back in the car. I might just have a bit of a visual look to see if I can get any more spikes. I did pick up spike number four as it went flat. So I've still got enough to make a coat rack or something like that, but it would have been nice to just find just a couple more. That's okay. <laughs> These things do happen guys. Always make sure your detector is charged up. I thought mine was. Clearly I didn't plug in the cable right or something. Don't know, but that's okay. Let's move on. So our grand tally today was four rail spikes. I've got two that are fairly similar looking, slightly different length. We've got one here that uh, has obviously had a different purpose because it's round instead of rectangular. And then we've got our sun baker who's looking a little worse for wear, but I should still be able to fix it up enough to serve its purpose. So it might have to be a single coat rack for both my stepfather and I at this point, unless obviously I come back with a fully charged detector and try and obtain some more. So thank you very much for joining me on this adventure guys. I know it wasn't quite what we wanted it to be, but I still had fun. That is the main thing. I'm going to go home. I'm going to plug that detector in first thing, settle down with a nice hot cup of tea and plan my next adventures. So if you enjoyed this brief but fun adventure, please drop me a like, please drop me a comment. Tell me, have you ever detected a railway? What sort of things have you found? I'd love to know. All right, guys, I will catch you on my next adventure. Cheers. I'm so mad. Honestly, I am really just so mad and disappointed with myself. But I don't know what I did wrong. That's the hard part. You know, I've always been thorough with charging my gear. Maybe my Nox is getting tired. Maybe I'm using it too much. Who knows? <laughs>